I had to sign my own consent form for him to remove my arm. Looking back was a frightening thing to do. <sighs> but I knew that, I knew from what the harvester did and how the harvester works, I knew my arm was gone when I got to hospital. I'm James Bannister. We sat here today in a village called Haxey, which is North Lincolnshire. Nottinghamshire just down there, South Yorkshire just up there. <laughs> this is actually classed as the Isle of Agzone, so. where we are. I was born into farming. My father was a farm foreman on the Lincolnshire Wolds. Life in general, to me, revolves around farms and farming. The, the ag community looks out for each other and look after each other. You know, yes, it is a lonely life as well. You get your days where you go out into the field and you're on your own all day. It was August 1998. In fact, it was the 6th of August, which was a Thursday. <coughs> Went to work that morning as normal. We were lifting potatoes. I did nothing any different that day than I had for five years with that same machine. But for some reason I climbed up on the harvester and I have no idea how, but I slipped inside it. My mate with me had stopped my tractor. If that lad hadn't to switch my harvester off, when he did, I wouldn't be here. The horn roller had started on my neck. Uh, and he came rushing to me and said, what have we done, what can I do? I was conscious all the time. I, I knew what was going on. One of the other tractor drivers off the farm <coughs> came and sat talking to me and asked, you know, various questions and what are you going to do when you get out of here and things like that. And <laughs> Bless him, he sat there talking to me and admitted afterwards that he couldn't stand the sight of blood. Once they'd released my arm, they still found they couldn't get me out. I always, I, I do remember, I actually told them to get two 13 mil spanners and undo, undo four bolts and take the bar off the top which caused a bit of a laugh. <laughs> anyway, when they got me out, eventually got me out of it, the air ambulance was there. And unfortunately, with my arm in the state it was in, it wouldn't hold in place. When they carried me from the harvest to the air ambulance, they were holding both my arms in that position like this. 
and as soon as I let go of my left arm, it would flop. So they asked me if I could hold my left hand. Well then, I did, and I looked at it. I knew. <laughs> I knew I'd lost my left arm. I knew it couldn't be saved. But I held it. And I still feel that left arm to this day. Occasionally when I'm doing things, I try and use it. So they got me in the helicopter and airlifted me across to Northern General in Sheffield. Takes about an hour on the road, maybe a bit longer. Nine minutes. <laughs> Nine minutes from the field to the hospital. And I think that's what saved my life more than anything. I wasn't looking to die. But I think had I had to go by road, I might have been in a far worse position. I see a lot of things, a lot of unsafe practices, more than I ever used to see. I wasn't the world's safest person on the farm, I'll admit I, did, I cut corners. When I'd started contracting, I joined the NAAC, National Association of Agricultural Contractors. I'd just been voted to be the chairman and my project whilst I'm in chairman of the NAAC is to promote more safety, get farms safer. That one person listening could save the life by listening to what had happened to me or save a limb, switch the bloody things off. Don't cut corners. Think safe. Your life is worth a lot more. <laughs>